it's a pleasure to have you here at SRM as the presiding person for the International Conference of Pro UPS. Humbled and honored to have a very distinguished chemician researcher like you who is making cutting edge advances in sciences. If you could uh, summarize very succinctly significant challenges which you have faced in research and how you overcame. So um, for the challenges and frustrations and disappointments, this accompanies any research because you can you never know what's behind the corner experiments fail and um, I think that if we should remove the word failure from our dictionary from our vocabulary the situation will improve so if something doesn't work you go back to the board and ask yourself why it didn't work it can be that the idea is wrong it can be that the reagents are wrong you chose the wrong species of mice. It can be that the hands of the students are two left hands. So you sort out what's going on and you try again. And uh, if it doesn't work, you may try again. Of course, you don't want to waste a lot of time. But I think that failure is part of success. When people are always successful, I suspect that something is wrong. Either the task was too easy or they cheated or I don't know what. I think that from failure, failure, instead of calling it failure, we should call it a lesson. Learning lesson. A learning lesson, exactly. So I think that just by changing the term, we go back to the board, we examine ourselves again, and the next time we'll succeed. So I think that it's part of life anywhere, not only in science, it's always part of life. And the only way to learn is from mistakes and from so-called failures or taking lessons. There is no other way. If your road is smooth, you'll never learn anything.